Good morning, everyone. Hello, it is Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo Day. Cinco de Mayo, I found out when I was researching this uh, this little segment, um, is like um, celebrated more in America than it is in Mexico where it originated. It's a, it, although it is a Mexican, you know, like a holiday, um, it's now more of an opportunity for us to drink beer and eat tacos, I guess. But, um, I was thinking yesterday, I said, good morning, Emmy. Good morning. I'll give people some time to come on and say hello. Um, yesterday we were talking about, uh, or I was mentioning my spring cleaning that I'm doing. And I was thinking, I need another banner. I think the last banner I did was was for Easter with the Easter bunnies, the string of Easter bunnies that we had. Good morning, Christine. So I was starting, happy Cinco de Mayo. Um, so I was starting to think about banners. So I was doing a little research in design space. Good morning, Penny. Yes, good morning. Hello, Tom. Um, so I was thinking about banners and I started doing a little research in design space and I want to show you what I came up with in addition to these really beautiful, what um, they're known as papel picado. Papel picado. Papel means paper and picado means pick in Spanish, um, and that's because this particular art form is usually done with chisels. Good morning, Amy. Um, it's usually done with chisels with a very large stack of tissue paper, but since we all have our crickets, um, we can do them on our crickets, including our cricket joy. That's what I really do like about this particular project. Today's project is that it can be done on the joy. So when I started doing a little bit of banners, I came up with this very interesting banner. Um, because it's a it's a four layer banner. I'm going to show you how to do the writing and the cutting on the joy a little bit later. So um, I cut out. And this was <laughs> this took me a little while. It's, this is not a quick. And I'll give you this particular file when I'm done uh, with the video. But I cut out just keep swimming because I thought, you know, we're getting to the place in this social isolation thing where people are getting a little bit antsy. The weather is starting to um, warm up and people are wanting to go outside, which is fine, you know, to go outside. But um, people are getting a little bit antsy about, you know, the masks. And I was so disheartened yesterday to find out that um, people are actually, some fella got killed in Michigan um, over a conversation with masks. Hi, Emmy. Oh, thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing it, Emmy. I always forget that. You're my, you're my sharer. Thank you. And hello, Cheryl. Good morning. Um, and Wanda, Amy, I don't know if I said good morning, but good morning to you all. Um, it is a beautiful spring day here. It's a little chilly this morning, um, but it's a spring day in, in Peabody, Massachusetts. And we are um, talking about banners and this particular one, which is this one here, which is the... Um, the papel picado, very hi Laurie Joe, very simple, easy to do. It's a straight cut, but then this one here is a, a little more complicated, and it has four layers, and each layer has um one. This is how the colors peek out. So there's the blue layer and this cream layer, and then this one here, which has both cutouts and writing, and then this uh top layer that goes on here so it becomes a very thick um 
letter banner it has holes in them in the top so you can string it up and you can cut out anything you want I want to show you all of the different banners that are available in Cricut Design Space before we cut out um, the one letter that we still need also later I want um, I want to talk about I got my glue shipment in um, from Etsy I think it was Emmy who told me about it so I was able to get this art glitter glue shipment um, it was from a let's see the the it was Etsy but it was named britches and bows in bows with an N britches in bows shop um, on Etsy and for $25.65 I got this um, eight ounce bottle you got yours too Emmy um, hello, Duane. Hello. Um, so I got the eight ounce bottle and a four ounce bottle. I'm used to using the two ounce bottle, but I like the way this feels in my hand. And then I also got this and some people wondering about this metal tip. So I wanted to show you, um, what it does because it's, it'll come in handy for some of our gluing. So the metal tip, um, is it what I've learned about the metal tip is it should not be a permanent fixture on your glue because it causes the glue tip to get um to get very messed up I, although you know if you do use it you need to use this little pen that comes with it it's kind of a common pin I'm not sure if it really is a common pin but so the tip goes on here and you have to really push it on there really really good and then you put the pin in there to keep it from clogging all right and um, I have several of these I always am losing the pins and so I have to um, use common pins and there is this is the cover that it comes with so I would suggest because I, I don't know for me I haven't had very much luck with um, using keeping that pin I would suggest when you're going to do some very very fine gluing that you just use um, use the the tip and then maybe kind of store it in this little vial so you won't lose it you know um, <clears throat> and most gluing can be done with the regular tip which is looks like that and then this is just a refill so if you guys are interested I'd normally buy this um, at createforless.com but they haven't had it in stock i don't know if it's because of for whatever reason um if it's because of the virus or somebody mentioned that she doesn't ship in the winter or whoever makes these don't doesn't ship in the winter but i was able to find it on etsy and i wanted to just alert you to the fact now you don't need this glue i'm not requiring telling you you need to get this glue but it is a really good glue for paper crafting and so I definitely recommend um yes and my dog did eat one my very first time I got and then oh then recently the dog did chew on the tip and that's because it rolled off my table my dog eats everything so I'm gonna move you up here a little bit because we're gonna talk a little bit about banners um and also later on I'm gonna talk to you about that new tool caddy for the maker so you got two two ounce bottles for $4.95 each plus four dollars shipping Ascot this one here is different so you got yours from Etsy but it called Ascot supplies and it is called art glitter glue there's no glitter in it but it was um it's made by art glitter institute and it was originally designed as a glitter glue that's why they call it art glitter glue and um now i use it for my paper mostly for my paper and i i really like it someone turned me on to it last year and um it, it really does a great job. It's permanent. I do get it all over my hands all the time, but um, it does dry clear, and I like the, the very precision tip as well. But again, you don't have to use that glue. You can find other glues as well. 
Um, so just to kind of transition to our banners. Um, so I started thinking about, you know, Cinco de Mayo and I found some really interesting banners and I wanted to show you how to find them. Here is my Just Keep Swimming one. And when this is over, I'll give you this file so you don't have to replicate it yourself. But if you want to go and look for banners, um, they're, they're very easy to find. Um, so we're going to do an image search. So we'll go to image search. And this is the uh, general image search. Now you can search in all of the image and just type banner and you will get quite a few different banners, okay? And um, some of these are from a great image set that came out not too long ago and very pretty. Um, but if you wanted to find some of the newer banners, that, um, and by the way, you know, the, the some banners are these not, you can't really... Uh, let me show you what I mean. So they call these things banners. I, I don't know if I would call them banners, but I don't know um, what else to call them. But when you do a basic search for banners, that's what you get. But if you go to image sets, that's my favorite part of design space. If you go to image set and you search in the image set for banners, you're going to get a whole bunch of wonderful banners that are very specific to an occasion. Um, so for instance, is graduation. This one here is like the, the um, for school varsity banners. Here's our mermaid banner. There's a carnival one, Valentine's Day, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Diwali, um, Halloween, and uh, spring, Easter bunny, Purim, um, Mardi Gras, and then here are the Papel Picado ones that um, I mentioned. But there's also a Chinese lantern, a holly for Christmas, um, and then you got some basics. There's a graduation one. I think that's really cute. Maybe I'll cut that out for our kids. They're doing something. Then there's this one, which I really like, and um, originally I cut out in the word fiesta, but I didn't feel like fiesta was really the appropriate kind of banner for the current situation we're in, but I wanted to show you anyway because it really is pretty. These Papel Picado, what I've learned, this Papel, Papel Picado banners, if this ever shows up, are um, are a thing. They've been an art form for, for uh, hundreds of years, I guess, in Mexico. And there's one particular place in Mexico that, that makes them. And again, they usually make them in tissue paper and um, they cut them out with a chisel, it's kind of interesting. And you know that um, you can use ch uh, tissue paper in a maker. You can't really use it in the uh, Cricut uh, Joy, but um, this it's usually like images of, of things, words, maybe saying love, amor, um, and these are often used for um, la dies de la, Los Muertos, which is the Day of the Dead or the Days of the Dead, which happens to coincide with Halloween. Um, so this is something to consider for maybe later on in the year. I just happen to make the association between Mexico and that, and I'm not sure why this is not coming up. But if you do a search um, in among the image sets for banners, you can find quite a few banners. It's like 34 of them and they have all different styles that you can choose from and they're really fun remember I think we yep we did do this one here for Valentine's Day and then we also did this one here for Mother's Day although I did it last month this one's really beautiful I hope it shows up don't know why it's so slow it might be my laptop but anyway, so when you go into these um, image, you just pick them out and you um, bring them in here. Now, they're sized approximately four inches. Um, you may need to, this one here is 4.2 inches. You may have to resize them, remember, because the maximum size of one of the measurements can be 4.2 
five, okay? So um, I'm gonna show you how to just cut one letter. This is the I. So um, let's go ahead and make it on the joy. I got my joy here, and I'm going to cut it on a mat. And actually, I cut out, we're cutting out the letter I. Um, let's see where, here it is. I actually cut out three of the layers um, already, but I just want to cut out the one that has the writing. Okay, so what I could do, because I already cut out the, this layer, is I could hide these layers. Remember we did this where um, you can click on the layer and click on that, that dot, 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 and you can do hide. Um, and that way your machine will only cut out or um, and hide. Or what you could do is it, you could just not cut those mats, okay? Um, it's up to you what you want to do. But we're going to go ahead and um, just cut that one with the writing on it because I want to show you how the writing gets done. We're going to choose a medium cardstock because that's what this is. Um, and... Let me show you. So you see on the in here it says I need a fine point blade, but I also need the pen. So let's move this over so you can see the machine. Oops, excuse me. Okay, so my machine's already blinking. Dia, dia. I thought it was dias. Dias de los muertos. Um, I'm working on my Spanish with my son. Well, we're working on Spanish and Russian, so I'm having a little bit of a brain blip on some things. <laughs> so, um, so for this, we're going to put in the pan. So we need to make sure that we take out the housing, and that's very easy to do. We just unclamp it like this, and we've got this pan. Now, this is a gel pen in teal. It's a 1.0. Now, when you're starting Starting to use pens in any machine, you do definitely want to test it because it could um, cause some problems with not creating a really good look there. So definitely test it. I test it usually on my paper, make sure it's going to work on that paper and we can get it set going. Um, it does the writing first, just like with all the other machines. It does the writing first and you'll see it'll start writing that sort of mermaid maybe kind of look here with that I did with that glitter gel. So that is this is just one of four of these things. It goes the blue, the cream, and then this purple that I chose and then this um orangey look. Well you could probably cut it in pink um and the blue you could I'm sorry, the purple, you could turn blue if you wanted to, or do whatever you like. But um, but what's really fun, I just love this thing, just keep swimming, um, having to keep it all together and string it together. I don't think I would string it all together, you know, just keep swimming. Um, but I think I might do like just keep and then swimming underneath it. And then all I have to do is, is um, put the put the string in between these. The holes are kind of small on this banner, just so that you know. Um, but first it's gonna go through and it looks like it's done. Yes, it's done with the writing. So I'm gonna take out the pen and put back in my uh, blade with the housing. That's very simple. I hit go on my screen, put the cap back on my pan and it's going to then cut out, whoops, you need to keep aware of this, the clearance in the back of the machine or else things get pushed away or pushed over. You don't want that um, to happen. Some people cut on, on like a cart. I've seen that, but I've always cut on, on a table, so I don't, I just have to worry about the stuff that might be behind there. So, um, 
as soon as this is done, it's almost done. Good morning, Carolyn. I love Papel Picado. It's such a beautiful art form. Um, I was reading, I think it was in Wikipedia, that this art form actually, they think, I think it was a Mayan or an Aztec art form that they think came over from China and there, or Japan, I'm not really sure, but um, similar to some of the paper piecing or the paper cutting forms. It seems like every, um, every culture has some sort of paper, here we go, has some sort of paper cutting and you've got origami and um, and there is even a, a German paper cutting. I forget what it's called. It starts with an S, I think. So here is our um, eye banner. I want to make sure that that ink is dried. I don't want to smudge it. Here we go. Oh, I smudged it. Oh my gosh. Be careful. <laughs> I smudged it. Oh well. You know, I do the I make the mistakes so you guys don't you know not to make them as well. So here's our banner, which I I smudged, sorry there, but then I can just go ahead and I'm gonna have to do it again, but but not for today, not right for now. So, but then I would go ahead and put on this um, and make sure all the cutouts are there. I'm gonna smudge it again. I keep smudging it, but then it would go here and then this goes on top like that. All right, so it's really cool. Just be careful not to smudge it, okay? <laughs> because um, cause you'll end up having to redo that. It Gel ink will do that because it's very like juicy. So do be careful um, about that. And, um, and, and that's it. There's just so many different banners that you can play with. Now, um, it, pretty simple, uh, pretty simple craft, but they really make a big impact when they're, when they are, um, up in your home or in a classroom or whatever. Um, so I just think it's fun. Very pretty. So I wanted to also talk to you about this. This is a brand new product, and I I did post this on um, on my page yesterday, but I wanted to show you it live and in person. This is brand new. It's like a tool caddy. I don't know what the official name is, organizer, tool organizer. But if you have a maker and um, I'm pretty sure it's it's something that if you have a maker and you have all of these adaptable tools. Um, oh, nice. Someone just came. Hi, Susan. She's back from her walk. So, you know, we've, we've been introduced to a number of tools from, for the maker and, um, they're beautiful tools, but I never knew what to do with them. I actually put them in a box next, a small box next to my machine, but this is what's called adaptable tool system or set and they um actually kind of hang in here like this and then if you have extras of these which i do this is the blade housing this one is for the deep cut blade the black one um, and it has like a black blade that goes in there and then there's also a cutting housing that's pink which i had but I don't know where um, it comes from but what I like about this is that so they sit there and you can't cut yourself and then you can also if a lot of us have the tips you can store the tips in the bottom and so here are my tips for um, there's my wavy blade there's my engraving there's my embossing this one here is just the tip that's for cut, um, changing out the rotary blade and what's this one I think this might be my o2 for scoring so I used um, I've been using this and um, I used it this morning to cut and score this which I, I was thinking tomorrow I would show you how to use the scoring wheel in the maker I hope it's not 
redundant, but um, I made this really adorable recipe box. This came from a file from Lori Whitlock. You don't have to use it as a recipe box. I was thinking, you know, if you make a lot of cards and you want to store it, an A2 card would fit inside of here. And it's so, such a pretty and very sturdy box that I thought it's worth it, you know? And, and so I thought tomorrow I will show you how to do it. This one I did with, uh, let's see, it's called, um, this is my paper collection. I am mom. I <laughs> just think it's such a cute um, paper collection. And also because this is a Laurie Whitlock um, file, I thought let's use the Echo Park because she has a hand in creating some of those. So what I chose was um, for the bottom, I chose this really pretty floral. And then on the top, I chose this one. It has like a slow cooker and a vacuum and car keys and water bottle and uh, coffee. <laughs> I thought it was really cute. And it goes together and it's and it's really quite clever the way she put she put the file together because it's very thick. And I think, yes, Susan, I think this is from a 2020 paper collection. It's called, I, oh no, it says 2018. But it's the first time I saw it. And I did get these paper collections from uh, craftdirect.com. I got a whole slew of them. So I wanted to start using them. And what is really cool about this um, these kits is that you get um, a sheet of stickers too. So if you're the kind of person that likes doing your, uh, you know, your monthly planner or something, you could use them for that, or you could incorporate them into scrapbook pages. There's, there's the monthly planner and a sticker, huh? Um, and, <clears throat> And uh, you could use them into a project. Uh, I suppose I could even use it on this project if I wanted to. If I wanted to use, like, the mom here or something like that, I certainly could do that. Um, and what's also cute about this project, um, let me just put this back in here, is that, uh, let's see, the, the inside, not this one, I didn't cut it for this one, but the inside of this project also has these rep recipe cards, which I think these are more of like dividers. Um, that's the way I would use it. And I suppose I could even put something written here using my pens. I could maybe have like desserts and sides and uh, Dutch oven cooking. And, and that way, this would be an awesome little gift to give to um, someone who's just getting started in their kitchen. And, um, you know, you can actually print off recipes from like all recipes and you can print them off in a three by five size, which you could do inside. Uh, yeah, and there's all kinds of different uses that you could um, use, like if you just wanted to something really a cute little useful. Um, oh, my pleasure, Susan. Um, I'm, I'm glad to be of help. I'm glad to be of help. So tomorrow we'll put this together. I'll show you how it goes together because there is a little bit of trickiness to it um, so that you can get a nice uh, thick, see how thick it is? And then, um, and then to show the box and how we put it together and I can show you how to use the scoring wheel. Now this project is too big for cutting on the joy, but if you have an explorer or a maker, you'll be able to cut it um, with those machines. The Explorer would use the scoring stylus, and I'll be cutting this on the maker tomorrow, so I'm going to use the scoring wheel, which I am very nicely keeping in my cute little, it reminds me of those eggs, what was it? Uh, nylons from from like the 70s and 80s where they were called like legs and they used to come in a, in an egg my mom would always give us the egg to do put stuff in I just love little useful um, useful but neat looking uh, things and this is on sale starting yesterday it was on sale I, I forget the actual name of it but it is a, a um, oh yes and HSN has it on sale today 
day. Yes, it's $24.99. Now, if you order from Cricut.com, you can order this from Cricut.com using my link, and um, you'll get an additional 10% off and free shipping as long as your order totals $50. Um, I don't know if they offer that at HSN, but um, if you order it using my link, you can. You have to use my code with it, and you have to have a fifty dollar purchase. Miss Rita two o two is my current code, and um, so you can get this and maybe uh, one or two other things, and get ten percent off and free shipping. I think I've I've encountered some pretty high shipping costs at HSN, so. I always do my Cricut shopping on Cricut.com, so that's just sort of the thing. So that is it. I, I didn't talk a whole lot. Legs. Yeah, legs. Um, I'm so glad, Susan, that you're trying some of the different designers. There are many designers. Um, I usually just spotlight a few that that I am most familiar with, but there are other designers out there, and as I find them, I'm happy to show you. And yes, my code is Miss Rita two o two, and I'll post post the shortened link again but if you if you're looking for it go to my facebook page and you can find it there and again um the the glue if you're interested in buying the glue go to etsy e t s y and type in art glitter glue and you'll come up with at least two different um, people that will send this to you by mail. This one here was from Britches and Bows, Britches and Bows, but um, somebody else, Mary, you have Susan? Um, hi, Roxanne. So Susan is reporting that she's done four of the five Sun Valley cards. Um, I want to do the Cactus... Um, the lemonade stand and the avocado um on in that I, I really just you know what it might be a good um it might be a good uh saturday night project to do those cards in that particular kit they're all so cute and they're a really recent kit and um I, I don't know that anybody else has really shown that. Maybe she has. I don't, I'm sure she has. But um, so here is uh, here is today's project, and I will I will add the project there with this mermaid cutout, as well as our papel picado. And I hope that you all have wonderful um, a wonderful uh, day. It's sunny here. I don't know about where it is at your place, but um, it's certainly sunny here and happy to have the sunshine. And we're just going to just go about our day today and be happy with the nice weather and just sort of encourage each other to just keep swimming or just keep at it. Um, this social isolation business it's not over we, we we've endured a lot but it's it's not yet over and try to you know keep your distance and when you're out um, wear your masks and um, just try to you know be cognizant of other people okay so happy Cinco de Mayo everyone I hope that you have a wonderful wonderful day and um and see you again tomorrow okay take care eat your tacos okay bye-bye <laughs>